Lawless, relentless, brutal. The Wild West era and the ghost towns still standing today are no different. Every inch of soil and stone still contains the anguish and anger from the past. And tonight, the past demands to meet with the present. No, no way. Way. I don't trust this room. I mean, I literally just heard walking right here. Can you make these rods point in the direction that you're standing? Oh! You heard it on camera? Yeah. This car was an ace, ace after saying ace. Are you kidding me? We were just hit. Really f***ing scary at night, dude. No joke. The Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. This is night four of 30 from my United States road trip series. Whaley House, Queen Mary, Ohio Reformatory, Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, Preston Castle, Crescent Sanatorium, Sally House, Abbey Monastery, Stanley Hotel, Alcatraz, and many more are still to come. Weekly episodes. So please, make sure to subscribe. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. We are in Jackson, California right now at the Kennedy mines well as the Argonaut mine which this year will be 100 years from the largest tragedy in California mining history. 47 miners lost their lives in the Argonaut mine and the way they tried to save them was right through here and they couldn't do it. After three weeks of tunneling to try and save them they were never able to and it took them one year before they even found the first body. Oh what? But besides that, Dang. people have fallen to their deaths here, as well as all of the unknown things that happened because this was the Wild West. True. This was the epicenter of the California Gold Rush. This was the mother load. People were getting paid $4 a day here. Woo! And you can imagine when you're bringing up $500 worth of gold, you might want to try and yeah. make mm -hmm. your Some way out. Oh, for sure. And that's not going to fare very well, which is why they believe the administration office is the hub for all the negative energy that happens oh. here. And I mean, think about it. Back then, like, the law wasn't as strict as it is now. I'm sure it could have even gotten to the what point law? where... <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What law? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So they probably got killed oh, just yeah. for the tiniest nugget. Yeah. yeah. It's possible. You're stealing. Yeah, yeah. You can't be trusted. I mean, who doesn't like nuggets? That's true. Especially some ketchup. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Have you had the ghost pepper ranch? Uh, with spicy nuggets. No. I'm not, it's amazing. I'm Ghost not, pepper ranch? Yeah. Where's that from? Wendy's. Well, should we meet up with our, our paranormal historian and guide? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go yeah. meet up with them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. should. Yeah. Everybody give me a woot woot if you're ready to turn to. <laughs> okay. One of the deepest mines in the world, Kennedy Mines became renowned for the gold that was uncovered here. Operating for 56 years in Jackson, California, not only did it see a peak of profit, but it also saw death, fire, and corruption. The Kennedy and its neighbor, the Argonaut Mine, became a massive project which saw numerous owners as well as thousands of miners that worked its underground layers all through a 56 year span of operation. Death and injury was an anticipated part of the job, and the workers were getting paid minimal amounts, and sometimes paying for the opportunity to work in the mines with their lives. Both of the mines we are visiting tonight closed in 1942, but later reopened as tourist attractions, not only for the history, but popular for the disembodied voices, locals, and visitors here when they are in the vicinity. Paranormal investigators have been scratched in the administration building, one of the most haunted areas. Ominous feelings, shadow figures, emotional manipulation, attempted possession, and scratches are all things that have been documented here. Located in Northern California, the property spans 154 acres. It is part of Mother Lode Country in California, which is a gold rush belt that goes from the Sierra Nevada to Central California. And Jackson was at the center of the Mother Lode Gold region. And the Kennedy and Argonaut mines were among California's richest. Due to the abundance from the gold rush, California went from large farming areas to a fast-growing community after James Marshall discovered gold in the area in 1848. And on January 4th, 1860, Andrew Kennedy, among others, made their mining claims in the Jackson area, the space that would later become known as the Kennedy Mines. Andrew Kennedy was the first of the group to stumble upon this place 
and he began digging. However, as work progressed, it quickly became one of the deepest mines in the world, and it goes down to a depth of 5,912 feet. The mine operated and recovered gold for 56 straight years. These were low-grade mines that resulted in a small amount of gold per ton of rock crushed. However, due to the mine's depth, they were able to have a lot of success in this, which also meant there was a lot of hard labor that had to be done to extract the ore. And with all of the imminent danger, workers were only getting paid $4 a day. Even though they were in extremely dangerous conditions, 4,600 feet below the surface. Yet the Kennedy Mining Company was extremely profitable, and from 1870 to 1878, it was noted to have recovered around $300,000 in gold during that time. However, with profit came greed and corruption. The majority of unknown corruption took place at the office, a three-story building that would process all of the ore from the mines. Armed guards were stationed inside this building to protect everything within it or from leaving it without permission. Those caught trying to swindle the mine were handled with the absolute most extreme possible punishments. There were no rule or law within the mine other than what the owners decided was suitable. Many paranormal investigators believe this office is a hub for the most negative energy on the property. Unexplained voices, phantom touches, dark energies, sudden feelings of aggression, and sounds like footsteps and growls have all been documented within this building. Many express seeing a dark and sinister presence that resides here while watching everyone that crosses into its threshold. And as production within the mine increased, it resulted in more and more accidents. The earliest documented deaths were of March 15, 1902, after one miner fell down a 2,600-foot shaft. Two months later, there was another worker who slipped and fell 2,000 feet to his death. These patterns continued, and accidents never ceased. And in 1922, nearly 100 years ago to the day, the worst mining accident to ever happen in California history was the Argonaut Mine, the neighboring mine to the Kennedy. What began as a surface fire rapidly traveled down in the mines and ended up trapping and killing all of the 47 miners below. These miners were trapped in darkness and with little hope, just about 4,650 feet below the Earth's surface. The depth of their location made reaching them incredibly difficult, and with every second counting against their survival, the odds weren't great. Due to the proximity of the Argonaut, the Kennedy was once connected to it through underground tunnels. Yet these were closed in 1919 due to another fire that had occurred. Rescuers tried to remove rubble to reach the trapped miners, but it took too long. Desperate rescuers tried to pour water down the shafts to extinguish the fire, but to no avail. Not long after attempting to clear the rubble, a canary was sent into the shafts but it died due to the toxic air. Thus, the rescuers realized it was unlikely anyone survived. When the bodies were recovered almost three weeks later, it was deemed that they had all suffocated within hours from the smoke of the fire. The cause of the fire was never determined, but it was thought that it might be due to arson or something defective that occurred. The Kennedy mine, like the Argonaut, also had a high count of deaths with 36 documented fatalities from its period of operation and is believed that there are many, many more. Due to the traumatizing deaths that occurred here, there are many stories from locals and visitors of voices crying out from the mine's depths. Unfortunately, due to a recent rainstorm and mudslide the day prior to our arrival, all of the mines were inaccessible to us during our investigation. But this led us to spending more time in the areas known for darker entities and surprisingly intelligent spirits. The Kennedy and Argonaut mines both closed operations in 1942 as the U.S. focused its resources on World War II. The mines in total created 50 miles of underground tunnels, and by 1945, water nearly flooded the entirety of them. After years of distress and an inability to ever reopen the mines again, they were sold in 1961 during a liquidation auction. The property was bought by an unexpected person, Sybil Arata, a ceramics teacher from San Francisco. She decided to retire in the property and live there until her passing in 1994 with her dying wish to designate the Kennedy Mine as a protected area for wildlife and its history. Now, it is frequently visited for its past that continues to live within the property limits. It is clear that a lot of anguish remains in the mines due to the conditions for miners being far from glamorous. 
Many miners suffered as they worked deep within the caverns to earn just a few dollars. The energies of all of those who have toiled in the mines are still felt to this day. It is perhaps why their screams are still heard echoing across the property. The greed of those in charge still haunts and monitors the wealth it once produced. These buildings and shafts carry deep history and mournful tales of people who hoped for a better life in California. The Argonaut and Kennedy mines carry with them the voices and stories of people lost to time, never to be known or remembered. And it is our hope tonight to meet only but a few of them. Had a pleasure. What's going on, man? Matt. Matt. Nice to meet you. Josh. Nice to meet you. Corey. Corey. Nice, nice to meet you. You got some paws on you, man. Meat hooks. Yes. <laughs> Shrek hands. Shrek hands. Yeah. Hulk hands. I've never heard of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, you could have gone with Hulk hands, but you know, with <laughs> Shrek. A close second. Yeah. You've been here for a while, I assume? A little while? Uh, this would be fourth year? Yeah, okay. that's a while. Like primarily stationed here, you kind of go around. Oh, uh, well. you know, I'm still docent at Preston. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I haven't done a tour this year, but I heard you guys were there last night. Yeah, yeah. we were the first one of the year, yeah. All right. Just about right, a few minutes ago, you, you were feeling good, right? I think yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, mm. that's happened to me too. Oh, oh there? really? Yeah. Really, where were you? Started off in the basement. Okay. I took my group down there, and I mean, this is my eighth year in, but uh, there must have been energy that just was too strong for me. I actually ran outside and threw up. So did he. Damn, oh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. It was almost like the next two or three times that I was there, I had to tell it to back off. Look, you got to stay back. This is your space. I get it. But when, you know, every time you come close to me, I have to start feeling like Are you who Connie was telling us about? Oh, Connie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked to her last night. Yeah, she yeah. was She was there with us. All and right. she, she had mentioned that, I guess it was you oh. had to go down there and say, like, yo, back off. Like, oh, I yeah. understand. I've had to say a couple times. But the one time where I got real sick, I had to tell him, look. Oh, God, she didn't wow. mention that, though. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she left that part out. Interesting ah, enough. Well. Probably why she, like, she didn't make it a big deal when I left vomiting. Yeah. She just kind of like, there goes out. another one. Yeah. Uh, All nice. right. Do uh, you guys want to start? Far and work your way in. Are we going to the recreation room? I believe so. Okay, you want to start there and work our way back? Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Right. Wherever there's some hot spots. Let's do right. it. Go. <laughs> okay, so the floor is okay, but you'll notice it kind of dips down a little bit. We had a blackjack game in here, and it was the first investigation ever. We had the cards dealt to us face down, so we didn't know what we were given, uh, and we were asking them through spirit box, stand, hit, mm. you know, blackjack, whatever. That's cool. And out of the five games we played, it told us what to do. But yeah. Imagine if we got Every possessed time. by that ghost and we went to the Vegas. casino. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only time I want to be possessed. He's got a spirit Follow phone. me. Your phone. Yeah. I'll throw it And then the last time we're like, dude, you know, hit, stand, what? Blackjack. No. No, really? Blackjack. So the miners would come through that door. Uh, they, they, they weren't allowed in the building except for right here where they get paid. Okay. So there's a wood staircase that runs outside. Uh, they come in, stand in line, get their money, and go. Got it. Were you dead? Nothing. Not, not a love letter? To Kevin. To who? To not Kevin. If you were to Let's say write a love letter mm. and then what would it say? Um, it'd be a poem. Yeah. So it'd be a love poem. Oh. He already wrote a little bit if you wanted to. No, it's not ready. Yeah. It's not, it's not, I can read it out loud, right? Dear right. Kevin, yep. you smell like heaven. Uh, I want to take you on a date to 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. Roses are red. Mm. My heart is a lock. Your hands are so big. <laughs> It's your heart. It's your heart. It's your heart. It's your heart. You guys have a lot of energy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bored or anything. But I'm speaking from the heart. That's all. This is so. This is cool. where they kept the money, I assume. Oh yeah. Okay. This is so. Anything they needed to lock up. Are these books original? Uh, some of the ledgers are, yeah. Wow. Not too long ago, they had reels and reels. Probably a good hundred of them from a player piano. You know, we couldn't figure out why the hell that those were here. Oh yeah, they're we all We found here. out that Sybil had uh, a player piano 
in the change house. No way. And it's been caught on EVP before. There's a uh, player no piano. Way. Or, no or not way. maybe not a player piano, but an old piano. Yeah. Miners weren't allowed up here. There's oh. some dignitaries, owners, friends of the owners that would come up here to visit, they would stay up here. That room that you're looking in, uh -huh. that window there, and this window here. You look up and you'll see shadow play. You'll see people, little figures walking. The whole four or five would be on the bottom and they'd put a board and then the rest would get on top. Oh let, let me just show you my with my stature. It's like me in a bag lunch. I mean, how are you gonna fit like four or five people in here? And, and then they'd put and then they put something on top? Yeah. They put something on top to where the rest of them can go. Here, I'll sneak out. No, 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 come, 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 come. No, no, you're making, no, no, you're making it, po no, poems no, about me in here. <laughs> we got it, come uh, on. Yeah. I can feel Kevin's hands. We're just hanging out. I feel like the poet should uh, have their moment good. together. You guys want to join? But, oh, yeah. Let yeah. them we'll have their moment. This thing went down, I think they said between 25 to 31 miles an hour. Oh, that's what? Wow. That's, so they dropped So if you were to yawn or, you know, straight, that's it. And then wow. nobody died from a bug bite here. It was like brutal. So in here, you pretty much got a brass tag. Oh yeah, right You go in the mine, and when you come out, you would drop them in that slot. Oh, yeah. You give them to the foreman, and that was like a roll call. Ah. If you weren't present, they'd have to find out what happened to you. Whether you were still down there, you know, maybe you got injured. The only way they could see was a candle. Um, so it was low light kind of a thing. So you might have been down a shaft and no one knew that you were going down there. And that's kind of why they, they came up with that system. Oh man. She just feels like she's intimidated by the foreman. She mm -hmm. calls him the foreman. So every time we're here, we have to let him know, hey, we're here, we're gonna bring people through, have a good night. We normally won't hear anything other than get out. That kind of stuff. Oh wow. Yeah, two weeks to get them. But there was writing on the wall. Gas getting strong. Wow. And then when they found them, you know, I don't know, I, want, I don't know how when people die their faces, but they said that their faces weren't like in shock. Like when you get scared, sometimes you die with a look on your face, like you're you're mortified. They just fell asleep. It was carbon monoxide. Mm -hmm. They just fell asleep. Wow. Didn't even know that they were doing. It. So we should probably introduce ourselves. Mm -hmm. All right. You know. So, hello. My name's Corey. Hold on. Let's get into era. That's not how they sound. Yeah, like. come on, man. You don't sound like a minor. Hello, my this is where everyone would hang out, and play poker, do all the shit they weren't allowed to do. Yeah. Here, see. <laughs> I'm here to play cards, man. <laughs> Want to play cards? I was gonna say we should put a rib pod back here. Oh, we really should. Oh, that's a good idea. We really should. Can we? Yeah. Right there. Anybody have a flashlight? We got this. Oh yeah, you got it. You have to hold it like this. You have to get back into the air like this, Corey. Hold it like Dubby. Let's see, Master. Hey, gang. Go play. Get ball, kick, kick, get ball. In the door, point in the door, boy. Yeah. And a flashlight, see? Man. And I got the rim pod, see? So I'm the only one that introduced ourselves, eh? Yeah, see? I'll go next. I'm Matthew, see? And I love playing cards, and playing cards loves me. Howdy, the name's Josh. Boo. <laughs> no, no, keep going, you're a visitor. Oh yeah, you're from out of the country. You're from the big city, New York. Oh, see? Uh, the Big Apple, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. You had to play some cards, huh? Yeah. 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 Maybe stop by the brothel, see? Ah, mm -hmm. get a cigar. <laughs> you made four dollars a day, huh? On a good day. Well, it's about to be mine, huh? <laughs> uh, you want to make some gambles, huh? Shuffle them up good, see? No, no, no tricky play, see? Yeah. No cards up your sleeve, huh? Yeah. 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 Ah. 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 Can you see? Ah. 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 If there's anybody here who would like to play some cards with us, we've got an empty chair right in front of us. And if you sit on it, the box will light up and we'll know you're sitting there. If anyone would like to play, now's your time. Big blinds are 35, little blinds 25. What do you think, Josh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for a hit. <laughs> you're out. You're out, kid. You're out. 18, huh? Yes, you sir. And you're out. You're so. out. So just me and you, kid. Do it. Oh. You're out of here. Oh. Pay up, pay up. I'll take physical favors. That's fine. I your friend. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh what did he had? 
Seven. 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 Way. <laughs> Yo, what? No way. All right. No. All right. No way. So wait, so wait, so I'm, I'm, I'm splitting my lint with they them. They split the pot. There what the? we go. <laughs> That's what awesome. That Amazing. Is awesome. Okay, okay. What? Amazing. You guys want to put some uh, more money into this? I think I got some in my wallet. I got some. I got some. I got a little bit of cash. Let's make some bets. Let's see. Let's see. see. Man. <laughs> and we got some gold we can play. I don't have gold. I got. A, I got a twenty. I have a twenty, which is basically a house. Evan, I feel like you have change on you. Why? Because I feel like you yeah. have a quarter. I feel like you have. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? One of those little. One of those little <laughs> Thanks, oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you want to play for coins, huh? Money just moved. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. He's trying to steal our money. Oh, dope. Whoa. What the hell? Whoa. He's trying to steal our money. Oh, dope. There's a couple of toys and tools around the room. The little balls on the chairs and on the table back there. If you want to touch one, let us know if you want to play. Who wants to uh, wear the headphones? Anyone in particular? Mm. I can do it. Doesn't matter to me. You yeah, do it? Yeah, you're, you're dealing. So yeah, we'll just use. We'll do hit or. I have to be like a little bit further away though. Oh okay. That's crazy. That went off immediately. Yeah, that's really cool. That was the best part so As far. As they went. Oh, oh wow. What's that? Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool, huh? It's a cool toy. Cool tool. That's how you can play this game with us. Real simple. Blackjack 21, you know how to play. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know how to play. You know how to play. Every time you make that box go off, we're gonna count that as a hit. If you want another card. If you leave it silent, leave it as a stay. All right, so for the next round, do you wanna bet you a 20? We put all 20 in, we got a 10 in. All right. Oh. Deal. Lucky, huh? A man of money. Okay. 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 Big roller. Yeah. Who's gonna deal? <laughs> I'll be the dealer. <laughs> Wheel and deal. Let's get it. All right. Call me Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel. Howie. Howie Mandel. How about that? Whoo. <sighs> that's us. That's us. Yeah. See, it's that simple. Just touch the box. It'll light up. All right. We just don't want you sitting next to the dealer. There's no cheating in yeah, here. The last on. person who cheated in here got shot. Yep. See the bullet holes. All right, so you know how to touch the box. You know how to make it light up. That's how we can know if you want to hit or you can leave it silent. Ah, you get it. All right, yeah. you know the rules. You know, you the, know rules. the rules. Or, or. You want to play? Okay. Yeah, All right. Last yeah. thing. Last thing. Play. We're about We're to play. play. It's crazy. It's a different chair too. I heard the REM pod through my headphones. Dang. So it's like that loud. The antenna on the sphere box picked up the REM pod and play it through my headphones. I've just never, that was really crazy. I never heard that before. Wow. Whoa, that was super weird. So our friend, our friend is sitting back there and he's wearing these things on his ears. It's another box. And you can also speak into that box and he can hear you. We might not be able to hear you right now, but he can hear you with the device on his ears. He can hear you back there. <laughs> so you can touch the box like you already know how and, and we'll hit for hit. you. Or you can tell him hit, stay, whatever, raise, whatever you want to do. All right, you understand. All right, enough shuffling, enough shuffling. We're not LMFAO. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Have we also heard that? Yeah. Maybe there's some more people coming into play. Ah, we're gonna take all their money. Hey. See? Yep. You'll hear them. You'll, You'll hear them when the more people come in. Okay. Right. Yeah, Tell them to come true. in and make some noise. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Bada bing, bada boom, bow. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, big money. 11. 11. 11. All right. All right. Ooh, I got 14. Okay. Should I go ahead and flip our friend? What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? Jack oh, King. Oh, what are, you, are you kidding me? You're going to start the game with no, 20. No, he's cheating. That's he's got cards up his sleeves. That's yeah. All right, let me flip mine. All right. All right, so I have 11, so I'm going to hit. You want to hit? Yep, yep. Come on. What is that? 15? 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah. You want to hit? Mm -hmm. Stay. Oh, break. Oh. He's, gonna, he's gonna. Our friend's gonna stay at twenty. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna he was telling Josh to stay. Oh. And all Josh, in. He's going all in on twenty. He's. I mean, it's twenty out of twenty-one. So okay. Yeah, it's a good call. Hold on, hold on. It's still, it's still me. Wait your turn. Okay. We're going. We're going clockwise. Yeah. All right. So Josh. Oh, we, we know. Yo, we know. We know. Ass, we know. 
know. We know. Yeah, I'm already out. I'm just, out of here. I'm just messing with you. All right, Matt. What do you want? I'm hitting on 14. Give it to me. All right. He already said he wants to stay. He wants to stay on 20. Okay. Yeah, he said all in. He, he said all in. Okay. All right, let's see. Go. Oh, what is that? That's uh, 17. Oh, yeah. 17. Damn, I'm out. But our friend. He uh, only stays at 17. So he would just lose? Yeah. He wins the pot then. He won. He won all in. The pot. He knew to stay. He knew to stay. He's only lost once. Yeah. The box. What about the box? Yeah, the box. You know how to use it. It's pretty cool, huh? All nope. or nothing? No problem. Okay. All right. Get out. He's probably mad because he doesn't want to play no more. Oh, he doesn't want to lose the money. the money. Yeah. He won the 50 and now he doesn't want to bet it. You don't want to bet the money? You don't want to bet the money? You don't want to double down? I thought we were playing with a gambling man. Come on. All right. Let's see it. Ooh, ooh, okay. Seven. I heard best of. Best, best of. Best of, okay. What, best of three? You already got what, two wins? Two wins. Let's see if he does so it. best of five. Best of five. What card is this? Can you say the number on this card? Tell our friend back there what number that card is. Or color. Or shape. Come on. Oh, he's he's waiting. waiting to play. Okay, okay. Right, he doesn't right. care. You have the five. What do you want to do? You want to hit? You got to stay on five. And one. And one. Add one. Hit him. All right. All right. Ooh. 15. 15. Okay. You want to stay on 15 or hit on 15? Come on, man. Help me out. You're winning right now. It's not that. I just heard blackjack. If I hit again, you think I'll hit? No way. Hit me. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Oh, dude, I was about to stand up and scream. Man, like, that would be crazy. But you might have blackjack. Oh yeah. Let's see. Actually, hit. You're at 15. Oh wait. 18. Oh. He's at 18. One more time. One more, to dude. If it's a no. three, if it's a three, no way. No way. Oh. Seven. Man. So you won, you tricked us. You won, you knew, you it's knew right. we were gonna he win. He said new trick. Uh-huh. And he got all of us to go I up. mean, dude, you can't trust the ghost, man. Come yeah. on. Hey, he's man. not a ghost, he's a man. He, oh, won, he won again. Face down. Face down. Face down. Oh, want, I think he wants... Does that mean play again? You wanna do play one round? face down. Play around, face down. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, okay. Same money, though. All right. All right, we're gonna bet all this fifty dollars again, okay? All right, you're winning. You're three out. You're three out of five rounds right now. Wonder what his name? Oh, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell us your name? Do you got a name, fella? What do you do? What's your name? Can you tell your name to our friend back there so he can hear you? Oh, you can. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do it face down. Ace. His name is Ace. Oh, is his name Ace? Is your nickname Ace? They call you Ace. Careful. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Ace. Right. Ace. We're gonna call you Ace. So were you the King Gambler back here? Everybody know you as Ace because you always won. If he gets aces on this, that's gonna be incredible. Unless someone's gonna get an ace. I don't know. All right, so we're playing face down. Face right? down. Whew. All right, Josh, you're up first. You can't flip them. Can't flip them. Place some bets. What the? F okay, we Play need to some put some bets. more money. Place some bets. I don't. Uh... All right, all right. Okay. All right, Ace, your turn. You gonna hit or are you gonna stay? Hit him. All right. No. All right, you all got right. three cards now. Are you gonna hit? Hit him, Ace. Hit her, right. you got four cards. Hit or stay. That's you gotta stay at four. Four, okay. what are you doing? Yo, hit. Is that a hit for you? Or Corey should hit? You want, do you want to hit? No. Corey should hit. Too far. Too far. He thinks he went over. Let's flip him. All right. 15. Damn. I'm over. Well, I either got 16 plus oh, 7. So let's no. go. I got 20. I am under. 
You're under? I'm under. And he said you were under. I have under. 13. You did say you were under. Damn! Nice. Unless he's under. Let's see what he has. Wait, wow. let's see. We got a six. He said he went over, is what he predicted. Nine. 13. Okay. 18. No way, 19? He said he has, remember he, he said ace. His first car was an ace, ace after saying ace. Are you kidding me? Hit him one more time then. No, it was Matthew. 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 He said Evan Matthew. Elton, Elton. Elton. to the table. What the f And Matthew? What's in for the this message? You know what's crazy? Every time we've introduced ourselves, I've said up? Matt. This is the first time I've ever said Matthew. My name is Evan Matthew. Did it say Evan? And then it's Evan, Elton, to Matthew, the table. Elton. Can you say Corey or Josh? So wait a second though. If he wanted one more. The rest can go. So wait, he's saying us to go and then to the say. Or he's saying your name, full name yeah. is Matthew. He just won. Because if he said hit again, yeah, well, it would have been his, his card. That would have been his card. And now it'd be Come on. What did he say? He said, come on. Come on. Should we do it? You want to play again? All right. I think he's telling us to dip. All right, right, we'll get out. So Elton will sit right here. So he won. Yeah, he, he won. He got 21 exactly. Damn, Ace. Technically, yeah, you're right. Because he couldn't technically speak. So it would have been. Because do you remember it went off again, but we thought oh, it was yeah. answering a different question? Yeah, before but you don't get a card, that. he gave the dip. Because we. Yeah. yeah. See, we said that only means hit. Gotcha. Yo, this is crazy. This is nuts. Okay. All right, here we go. go. That's yours. We're losing to this invisible that's man. That's your money. You all, that's yours. Congratulations, man. Damn. But we still need a dealer's. Pop. Thanks, me amigo. No way. Bro, he really wants us out. Let's go. Took their money. So me and Elton and Evan. Yeah. Evan, can you put the camera down? Sure. Can we go off GoPro? All right, Elton. That is incredible. Hold on a second. We'll be right back. We're not going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. We got to play. Me and Josh are leaving. Bro, he beat us twice. Like, no, he beat us four no. times out of six games. With all the cards face down, he, he kept beat. hitting and then got 21. He got a perfect blackjack. Really? On, on yeah. Face what down what was so bizarre is how many times I heard like card game kind of words and, and phrases. Elton, you asked him what his name was. You said ace. His first card he got was an ace. Whoa. Yeah. So... He said I was under, I was under on a face down bet. That's really cool. It is pretty dope. So, what are we, wait, so, so now we, me, you, and Evan are going to play. You guys got to play. And he wanted them to leave. You said yeah. the rest can go. You said Matthew, Elton, and Evan. Is that all right? Sure. Oof. All right. Good. Well, have fun playing, boys. There's about $60 on the table. Is that? Yep. All right, I started with 20. All right, we're playing again. Oh, you can, what the? You, got you, can, well. you can keep touching the box for a hit, silence for stay, or you can talk into this box. And it helps us hear you. Do you want me to play because you know I still haven't put any money down? You got anything else to offer? Nothing. No key of a watch? No. Damn. I don't even have my phone. Who don't even know what that is? No. <laughs> it's a brick of glass. Alright, um, I can try and taunt him. Tell him I got something worth money. He can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, prove it. I'm gonna blast like that. Oh Save my god. Alright, I'm an 8. Hit me. Ooh, 17. I'm staying. Right. Staying? I'm staying at 20. Ace, what are you doing? Hit or staying? Is that pass? pass. That was pass. Alright, right, pass. Okay. Damn, team. team. So we're. You didn't win. Damn. Except. No, oh, you win. They win. Yeah, we win. Yeah. Damn, win. Ace? Yeah. Ace won again. You want to get? Yeah. Five out of seven games. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's the cameraman right now, and we lost the freaking gambling bet twice. Yep. Even you dealing, we lost. I, I, I lost all my money. I literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> we lost our life savings, but right now we're heading to the RV, we're getting tools, and then we're gonna head up into the house back there. Hopefully it's gonna be sick. We gotta find Kyle. Kyle's been on his own right now, getting B-roll the whole time. Yeah. Hopefully everything's okay. So let's, uh, let's go find Kyle, and let's ghost hunt this house. Let's do it, man. It should be, it should be fun. You got an ace? 
Ace. And it went off. That's an ace right there. Yup. Sorry, I'm not trying to touch your card, but that's an ace. That, this man is magic. Nine. Oh, I can see that one. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, nine, 19, I'm saying. That's a black guy. No way. Wow. Wow. He did the same thing again. Wow. A4 again. Wow. That's how gambling goes, Ace. Try to win my money. Can you, can you touch that box for us and just say goodbye? It was fun playing with you. There it is. Wow, he's not. He's pretty mad right now. <laughs> was that a goodbye? Or you want to keep playing? I think that was a f you. That seemed aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, buddy. We're sorry, man. Just how the game goes. Better luck next time, Ace. I kind of want to try the fail on the second floor in the room where they would weigh all the gold. Genius. So I kind of, I kind of want to try that there. Genius. And then the third floor is where they say the most EVPs and activity happens. Yeah. Cool. The third floor is fine. Oh, we're splitting up or going at the same time? Maybe let's go to the second floor together and then we can split up. Yeah. yeah, cool. All right, let's go up then. And there we go. And this is level surface. Because this, is, this has never went off before. This is no. a new tool. Brand it's new. brand new, right? We've taken it to every spot so far this trip. We've never had it go off yet. Yeah. And just to show how it works, this is based off of something from the 1800s. And it's basically a scale. And when you put enough weight on one side, it finishes the conductivity. It finishes the connection, sending power. The music box is going off, we're not even next to it. We have a bunch of tools around this room. One by the safe, one by the desk, nice. one over here on one of the little machines, two of them actually on this counter. Flashlight went off. There you go, yeah, you know the flashlights. <laughs> and what did this guy? Wicked attack. Was there a wicked attack on George? Reap. Wicked attack. Reap. Was this place raw? We heard stories that character. We heard stories that people who were caught stealing or speaking their mind about the way things were run would be dealt with in a very severe way in this building. Is that what you're saying? You were attacked by trying to ask for dinner. If you're still with us, can you turn that flashlight on? If you want to talk to us. Okay, so to keep the flashlight on for yes, and you can turn it off for no. That's the easy way to communicate. Nice. Yeah, it's a flashlight. You've seen plenty of those. Pretty easy. Did you work here? Can I come in here? Flashlight went off for you. You're not allowed in there. Okay. I'll get out. Is that why Corey can't go in there? Think he's going to steal? If you're by the stairs, you can come into the room. The safe is open. Go in and take what you want. Are you upset about the miners who died here? Dude, did you hear like movement upstairs? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I heard movement upstairs. All right, well, we're going to head upstairs if that's okay. In my hands, I have these dowsing rods. If you know what these are, 
Could you touch one of our devices that we set up around the room? If there is anyone in this room with us, any spirits, souls, entities, elementals, persons, whatever you are, if you're in here, could you make these rods cross? Okay, if there's one to three spirits in here with us, make them cross. If there's more than three spirits in here with us, make them go outwards of each other. Can you make these rods point in the direction that you're standing? Over by you. Charmed by Elton. There's a cat ball in there. I will say there's also a dress in here. The wife. The wife of George. Make these rods cross if we're speaking with George's wife. One rod. Maybe it's somebody's wife, not George's. Yeah, only that one just crossed. Hmm. Okay. If you're not George's wife, make these rods cross if you are someone's wife. So we're speaking with a woman. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Can you make these rods point in the direction where you are standing? Oh, that's touch. This one just swang. Yeah, that one. Like this one literally just swang, bro. That's touch. Okay, so you're standing behind me. The same direction where the rim pot's going off? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's where these just pointed to. Try to grab it again if you are a woman. Right on her uh, gloves. Okay, so you are a woman. Did you live here in this building? Cross for yes. Oh wow, that was pretty fast. Wow. I haven't done dowsing rods in a while either. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, so this is your home. It's beautiful. It is. What was that? Outside something? Yeah, I thought it was something. The light. Like, right behind Josh, right? Yeah. Like a little glittery thing almost? It seemed to me as if it was like uh, like the circle white part of a flashlight. Can you make that ball light up that we've set on it? Can you try touching that ball? I'll give you a couple seconds, okay? And if you didn't work up in here, then you can just ignore that. Okay. You know what's funny? Since we've been up here, the music box hasn't gone off at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true, because we're not on that floor anymore. Yeah. Is there anyone up here with us? Heard that? Yeah. What was that? So I heard a thumb. It was a. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like they left. Yeah. Uh, it just feels empty up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cat ball went up one time. Rempa did one time. That's it. As we were talking about, I just put the hat back down too, like right now. <laughs> if you want us to leave, give us a knock. Knock on the walls, the doors. If not, we're gonna rob the bank downstairs. I did, it sounds like walking. We couldn't quite hear you. Can you do that one more time for us? Above us. 
It's you like hear a little, knock above us. It's like a little tent. Like a, yeah, it is. What's it's above like us? An attic. I don't think there's an attic in the house. When you guys do the UFO building, you think I should stay in here alone and try to get like real EVPs, like just by myself up here. I really sure. want to try it. Sure. Yeah, I'm like super curious. Yeah, by all means. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Josh actually, should come on all these. <laughs> no. <Nah, laughs> he always volunteers to go by like, himself. Dude, EVPs is like the only thing I truly love to do when I go sun. And like, if I can catch some stuff, dude. I love group work. I love spending time I do too. <laughs> like, <laughs> this house, does, for me, I'm like, okay, this is super chill. Like, up here, it's like, it's yeah. Not, yeah so I, like, I, I think I can get some stuff. I, sure. I think. Shh, you're cool. brave. Oh, it's not so much about the ghost hunting for me. It's really just like, I'm like, Corey and Elton, do you guys yeah. want to hang out? And they're yeah. Like, they're like, yeah, but it's a place yeah. of our choosing. Yeah, I'm like, all right, yeah, right, right, I'll but go. Only from 10 p.m. to 6 in the morning. I mean, that happens to be when I'm free. It's crazy. <laughs> it's to, be, crazy. to be fair, the spots that you have to do alone are freaking scary. The boat, would have I would have been scared as hell. Yesterday is super scary. I could barely do it. But this place just seems chill. I could not have done the basement by myself yesterday. No, nah, dude, it was nuts. I had to come up. You'll see. If you guys are watching, you'll see. I was, like, super scared. I think you actually lost the footage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All that for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is something. You have to take your hand or take your energy, your weight, and put it on the scale. If you do that, a light's gonna pop up. The scale is right in front of me at the end of the counter. Just give us your energy and push it on the scale, and then we'll give you all the gold you want. We can make sure that you get a real nice dinner every night. Enough gold to make sure that you eat well for you and your family. You know you want something to happen so bad, it's just, mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen because we want it to happen. Yeah. And they probably also know, there ain't no money in the safe. <laughs> yeah, you're they right. Probably also, probably also know we're not they, gonna hand it over that easy. They probably knew for the last 100 years, there's no money in the safe. Oh! <gasps> It went off. Yeah, fucking went off. They're like acknowledging that we all, we, yeah, we know there's no money in the safe. Holy shit, it went off. We were just saying, and saying it's not gonna go off. And I just turned off the EVP. Literally, we were just like getting ready to leave. That's amazing. Dude, we did it. Yeah, you can see that, yeah? Yeah. Oh, dude, dude, it's the coolest freaking thing ever. I mean, dude, oh, the, that's wild. the only way this could even happen is that there's some sort of weight pushing down the scale. Dude, the energy's on it. It's on. Yeah, it's on it. It would vibrate back off. It's yeah, on. It's, it's on it. Pressed down. Just so you know, it was um, Elton that told you he's gonna give you the gold, and I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, I'll still do it, but I did ask you to come face to face with me. So this would be face to face with me. If you're on that side of the counter, come step up. Here, I'll move it over to your side. Come on. I'll get you gold. Corey's got a watch. Matt's got a necklace. I'll get it for you. See, you have to literally put your weight on it. Like, it's no joke. That's crazy. Cool. Literally, as you're saying, it's because we want it to happen. Know. I'm gonna try it because I'm really curious. I want to try it for only 10 minutes though, but I want to be by myself when I do it. I get, see, when I go to all these places, my only biggest thing is doing EVPs because we caught some of the craziest stuff. So I just want to see if we can get something here at least. If the guy says it happens here, we gotta at least try it. All right guys, peace out. Enjoy, I'll be back soon. I'm just Have fun. Thanks. You going to the third floor? Third floor only. Just gonna try to get EVPs, that's all I'm doing. I hope you get scared, get good evidence. If, if something says get out or says anything, I'm gonna get scared and run, but I'm just trying to get something. I really want something. Okay, so we're gonna start this off here. I'm walking in, 
really f***ing scary at night, dude, no joke. All right. Here we go. So I'm by myself just showing every that had scared me. Jeez. Okay. If I get tapped, if anything happens, if I feel weird, I'm gonna stop. So I'm gonna go next to the bed. Let's try one on the bed first. He can't get out anymore because now it's he can't get out. He's locked in. Josh locked in now. Should we do that? Should we do that? Yeah. Viewer, should we do that? It's too late, we're doing this. <laughs> but he can go out the other doors to be smart. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try again right here. Dropping it down. We're going in. Is there anyone with me right now? I have a device here on the table with a red blinking light. I'm pointing at it. You can use it to talk to me. We have to come right up to it and speak as loudly and clearly as you can. You can take some of my energy or some of the energy from my devices if you need to. And we can talk. I saw two lights on the floor walking past me. I see you in the thermal. Right right Why, I Corey? thought you just walked past me. Why, Corey? I swear to God, I just saw like a shadow walk past me. Like my flashlight's like this, and I just see the shadow of, you know, a person walking to pass me and go behind me. Thought it was you. Turn around. You're not there. I was checking this out, and I thought I'd do a little experiment, so I went ahead and rang the bell seven times to sound out like an accident. And as I did that, there was shadow movement. Uh, one shadow went to my right or left, and then there was two shadows that ran that way. So maybe we ought to give that a go and see if we can find anything. I said let's do it, right? Did you die in this building? Are you George's wife or are you George? How old are you? Do it. I'm thinking I'm seeing something go past it. Am I tripping? Oh wow. This thing is pretty right. Is that our eyes messing with us? Yeah. Holy When I said if anyone's with me right here, I'm hearing two loud bangs, but I didn't hear it in person. I'm gonna keep playing it though. Watch. Is there anyone with me right now? I have a device here on the table with a red blinking light. I'm pointing at it. You can use it to talk to me. You have to come right up to it and speak as loudly and clearly as you can. You can take some of my energy or some of the energy from my devices if you need to. And we can talk. Good, uh, accident. I'm gonna go into another room now. Um, getting a little scared. Let's try in the kitchen really quick. You never know. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Did you live in this house? Let's see your right. 
right, Corey? Uh, Me? Matt? No, to your right right. To his left? No, like, not on the bench. It's to your right. That's his left. Nobody? What do you mean, nobody? That's not Kyle? Oh, Evan's right there. Evan's like six feet away no, from me. No, to your right. That's me, right here. No, to, yeah, but to my right? right. Nobody. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you said the Corey's. No, well, both of you have the same right. Yeah, nothing. Well, Go there's on. someone there. There is someone? Yes. How far? Like, Equally distant to Evan. I also just heard something. That's 100% a person. Did you hear that, Corey? Yep. Obviously, the first loud noise we heard, I couldn't hear it, but I heard it through my EVP device right here sitting down. Might have caught something with the yes. We don't know. I might even caught more, and I don't realize it yet. So you guys need to listen. There's movement over here. What is, what is it doing? Nothing. It's staring at you. It's staring at us? Yeah. Should we walk towards it? Sure. Is there anybody here? How far are we? Keep going. Stop. Is he looking at us? It's like not really there anymore, but it'd be like four feet in front of you. You're basically touching it's like... Shh, shh. Is that Kyle? Where's Kyle? Are you serious? You heard that yeah. clear as that. Is Josh like, on his phone? Why? Dude, we just heard like full talking. Yeah, I heard that. You guys playing something back? No, no. it sounded like somebody on their phone, right? Yeah. yeah, camera got it. You got it? Yeah. Do you like this table? It's full of cigars, whiskey, and gambling. Do you like to gamble? Do you want to smoke a cigar with me and gamble? Can you sit down on this chair for me? Josh talking, then that's insane. It sounded like he came out of the house and was like on the phone or something. Yeah, definitely. You heard it on camera? Yeah. It was. Kind of sounded like the same thing to you, right? What? This is where it was. was that? Guys, I just heard full on walking in the other room. If you didn't hear that, that's nuts. I'm gonna play this one out of here. I don't trust this room. I mean, I literally just heard walking right here. I don't know if that was like that or I don't know, I'm playing, mine might be playing tricks on me, but I'm gonna get out of here. Could have sworn on my life that it was just like, swaying right here. I heard it. I swear I heard it. I'm getting the f out of here. Just in case. Is he still upstairs? Uh, I think that's him right there at the top of the stairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it caught anything, if it caught the footsteps or not, but we did what we had to do. I went in there. I have a bunch of different room files. There is definitely something on here, and we got a bang and stuff, so it wasn't all for nothing. So we'll see what happens and what we caught, guys, but that was nuts. I know I have something because I asked, did you die here? And I have a response, but I can't make it out until it goes in editing. Okay. And then, um, in the first eight seconds, there was a bang. I couldn't hear the bang, but the EVP picked up the bang. And I don't know what it is. Towards the end, when I was leaving, dude, full on walking in the other room. But I don't know if, because only this would have picked it up. But walking is in the other room. And I left after that because I got freaked out. So <laughs> how'd you I, leave? Oh, uh, through the front door. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought I locked that on. Did, you it was locked, actually. Yeah, out here, it was locked. <laughs> I was like, so how'd you get out? It was locked. 
I unlocked it. How? I don't know. Oh, just maybe it was dual side and we didn't realize it. Yeah. Um. Well, everyone, that is the end of our night at Kennedy Mines. Uh, I'm excited to watch back the poker room. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to listen to EVPs. One of them definitely has something on it. This bangs, and I said, are you dead? Speaking of... And I heard someone say something, bangs. so I don't know yeah. what it says. <laughs> and we got the scale to go off. Oh, yeah, really that's cool. the holy grail that's of tonight. Yeah. The scale completely... That's what I want to see. Have to if you guys grow up, you guys would have got that evidence. Yeah. You don't think we got good evidence because we're little kids? Yeah. Yeah, dude, think about these guys in there mining for their husbands and their wives and shit. Yeah. These guys <laughs> mining for their husbands. For their husbands. Yeah, I don't know if you knew those times, but. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah, that wasn't right. a thing, man. We'll see. They, <laughs> well, they, <laughs> listen, they were go. listening to a firm man. A powerful whoa, man. Whoa, a firm man. Whoa. A firm, powerful whoa. man. Whoa. So when I asked whoa. them to touch the scale, <laughs> what? they touched it. Whoa. Wait, they touched what? <laughs> the scale. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're going to start our drive back to the LA area because our next video up is the Queen Mary. Except this time around, we're not doing any historical tour. We're maximizing all of our time there. Strictly for paranormal, through and through. We have Linda joining, we have Zachariah joining, and we also have two demonology high priestesses coming in from Vancouver, Canada. Wow. For the, for the high Queen priest? Mary? Yeah. For the Queen Mary. There's supposed to be demons on that ship? Yeah. Yeah. Why? There's what do you mean, why? why? I thought it was just regular ghosts. No, Some regular what? dead people. No. no. Why are there demons on a boat? <laughs> <It's> on, <laughs> you sound like you're pitching demons the next Samuel L. Jackson movie. <laughs> I've had it. These <laughs> demons. Look at demons. On, on this mother <laughs> boat. And after Queen Mary, we're going to Whaley House. It only took five years to get permission to film in there, but we're going back. Yep. Mm -hmm. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Right. Bye. Oh, wait, Bye. Bye. Comment Bye. The thing and I'll give merch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a bunch of these hoodies, so if you guys, or, or these, we have both, I both, I have a lot of these right now, so. Yeah. Um, Buy them. So five, you... five people, five people that comment will get one of these. You can Let's pick. each say a word. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you but start But ten it. times around. Ten. I want to, if they're going to get a free hoodie, they got to earn it. So like each say one word ten times around. Okay, let's so go fast. Forty words. Let's go fast. All right, go. Demons. Are. Very. Fubu. I. Love. When. Boats. Crank on my face. Shaving my ball hair. Jolly Parker is hot. Gangsta. Ooh. Gangsta, by Ooh. the way. Yeah, no ERs. Yeah. STA. Gangsta. Ooh. 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 Oh, Ooh. Gangsta. Ooh. Baby syndrome. Booty. Shaken. Delicious meal. Send it to Mars. How many times was that? That's just a lot. That, that was, I think 12. That was 12? I'm curious to see the comments on this one. I know, <laughs> I'm curious <laughs> too. We don't even know. remember that. We have to look back on it to then figure out the comments. <laughs> Gangsta, ooh, cream pie. Yeah. I, I hope they get that. I know. Oh, I really do. I'm so curious. Everybody gets a cream pie someday. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the Kennedy Mine. We'll Thank take you, we'll start the evening by hiking up to the top of the head frame. Any place there's wood, it's not safe. So don't step on anything wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I just want to turn around. I dead ass want to turn around. Dude, I don't think it's so worth it. High. I'm terrified. I shouldn't do this. Ah! No! 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 What was that? <laughs> what is that crap? Oh, I thought you dropped your phone. I was like, whoa. Do you want to pass out? Yep. I want to go home. So what does this have to do with ghost hunting? Oh my god. This sucks. Do you want the camera? No. Like imagine four friends and the cameraman just come up here and like yeah. just, just kick chill it? out. They're like, hey, just, that's a us. dream We're come true. Right now. Yeah, just yeah. kick it romantic. Oh, there's a bat! You know what that means, right? This Batman? Or? We all have to kiss. Like mistletoe. Oh, facts. So who wants to do it first? Well, Matt's ready, bro. I'll go last. Our viewers about to kiss Matt. Oh! <gasps> wasn't consensual. Wasn't consensual. You're canceled. 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 Bro, we have to, we have to keep moving. What? We have to keep moving. Ah! I'm panicking now. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, let's just hard. All right, let's There's keep no moving, dude. I'm tired. Just chill. Yeah. 